Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. This is a weekend vlog I just wanted to share. Um, so I pretty much start every Saturday morning with some type of laundry. Um, I prefer to wash all of my bedding on the weekends most of the time. Um, so I just like to have fresh bedding for the week. So here I'm just getting that started and putting in my OxyClean. I love using this for sheets and towels. It gets some extra clean and fresh feeling. So if you haven't tried that, um, I love using that. And here I'm just throwing in a couple of laundry pods. I think I decided to do two instead of one since I was washing the sheets. Um, so yeah, I love those two. They're really convenient. Okay, if you did not know, a very easy, fast way to clean your baseboards off is using a Swiffer. Um, I love these things. You don't have to like get down on your hands and knees or anything like that. So it makes it really easy and they're just great for dusting anything. Okay, I just wanted to share a grocery haul um, from Walmart. So I got some red potatoes. I think I might cook those tomorrow night with dinner. Um, and then just some regular potatoes. I think I'm going to do mashed potatoes tonight with dinner. Um, stove top. We're going to do chicken and dressing in the crock pot. Um, sounded good for tonight. Something nice and like a cozy meal. Um, Pop-tart bites. If you haven't had these, they're really good. I got the confetti ones. Um, creamy chicken for recipe tonight and chicken broth spaghetti sauce um, so I've got this to do um, laundry with I've just seen people use it it's the sanitizer um, I thought it would be good to wash you know towels and some of shadows blankets with and stuff um, and of course it had spilled out so that's why I've got the towel out but it does smell really good um, something else for laundry that I've seen a lot of people use and I've started using it just like within the last few days on some stuff. It's vinegar. Um, it doesn't make your clothes smell like vinegar or anything. But you can use it in place of fabric softener which is not good for your washing machine. Fabric softener is not because it gets all um, like built up and stuff in there. Um, so this helps get your clothes soft as well um so and it's more um affordable too and something else i got that i wanted to try so i've been getting these febreze things for the car they look different they're just like a small little thing that you stick on your vents but i wanted to get one of these to plug in like in our entryway where we walk in and out from the garage because um, sometimes I will come in and it'll smell funny. Um, so I just wanted to try this and see. And I love this scent, Ocean. That's what I have in my car right now. It's really good and light and it's not like super heavy or anything. So I'm excited to try this too. Eggs, bacon, uh, pork chops. I think I'm going to have those tomorrow night. Some hamburger meat. Um, chocolate chip cookies because that sounded good. Um, I think we're going to add Swiss cheese to the chicken and dressing tonight. Rolls. Um, chocolate rice cakes. We like to eat these for if we're wanting something sweet with peanut butter and add some um, chocolate chips on top. Pretzel crisp, buffalo style. Doritos. Um, chicken breast for tonight and then some frozen broccoli so the great value brand this was only 98 cents a pack and 
and the, the name brand is like two something. Um, so I got this brand and this is just something super quick and easy to have with pretty much any meal. Oh, and I forgot my yogurts back here. Um, I pretty much always get the light and fit lately, but I wanted to change it up. Um, so I got the Chobani, got the vanilla, the mixed berry, and another mixed berry. So the only thing I don't like about Chobani is they do the fruit on the bottom. And I don't like that because it's just a bunch of sugar. So I like the ones that are blended. And they don't have a whole lot of flavors that are blended. So um, that's why I just got those three. So I think there is a hole in the bottom oh i think i see the crack right there um so that's made a huge mess so i found this i'm just gonna put it in there i'm like how does this even happen really i don't know how i'm gonna get it out of this to put it in laundry but I'll have to figure that out. It drives me nuts. Okay, I'm just making myself some lunch. Um, so we did get the chicken and dressing going. So chicken on the bottom. Top it with a can of cream of chicken soup. And um, I did salt and pepper and a little bit of the dry ranch seasoning just for... Um, some flavor and then we topped it with um, once we got the chicken soup on there we put some slices of Swiss cheese down um, and then for the stove top you mixed it with we did a can of chicken broth and half a stick of butter it called for water but we used chicken broth half a stick of butter and then you just stir in the stove top and then you just dump that on top so it's super quick and easy i hope it's good sometimes stuff like this can like not have much flavor so that's why i put some of the ranch seasoning in there but hopefully it will be good um so it's just gonna be cooking all day it's like 12 45 right now so i just wanted to make me some lunch so i'm gonna do this chicken if y'all have not tried this it's from walmart it's so good it's already ready to go um I got the fajita one like a month ago. It's not nearly as good. Um, it was like more gristly or something. So the traditional is the way to go. Um, and I'm just gonna have some of the buffalo wing pretzels and a couple squares of the Swiss cheese. Okay, so I had to share this cleaning hack. I've seen and I've tried it and I absolutely love it for cleaning your glass shower doors or just cleaning your shower in general so you mix some white distilled vinegar and dawn dish soap into a dish um, scrubby thing and you wipe down your shower with it okay so i just um we just built this house and we've never had a glass shower door before so um i know that it can be or it is really kind of a pain to clean. Um, so I've tried a couple different things and I've seen this um, online and it works so good. But the best thing about it is it's quick and easy. Um, the one thing I'll say is don't try and clean the door off while you're in the shower. Like me, I made a huge mess. So I found the best way to then get off the... Um, soap suds is just to once you get out of the shower is just get you some windex and a cloth and just wipe it off and it works great and um, of course the windex leaves everything really nice and streak free so here in a few minutes i show you i've just been keeping the um dish scrubby thing in the shower so when i'm actually taking my shower it is already in there so just when i'm in there and i have a few seconds i just take it and i just wipe down the glass um, and i also use it on the tile too uh, so it's really convenient i'm just in there taking my shower 
so when I have a few seconds every couple of days I will just wipe everything down and it's not taking me any like extra time on the weekends to do this big clean of the shower and I absolutely love the shower organization um, trays they are from Amazon okay I just wanted to share um, how I wash my face at night how I take off my makeup um, Step one is put your hair up, um, clip it up, whatever, and you have to have something like this to put over the top of your hair to keep it out of your face. <laughs> um, I feel like if there's one thing in like the makeup beauty world, I feel like people overcomplicate washing their face. <laughs> And taking their makeup off they have like all these products and all these steps just to take off their makeup but um i get that there's like the double cleanse which i do technically do a double cleanse but i don't use multiple products to do it i wet a washcloth so these are from amazon they're not like a typical body washcloth i think they might be called microfiber um face cloths so I have a whole bunch of these and I've been doing this for probably a couple of years now washing my face like this so you just take your face cloth and you get it wet um, I use hot water and with my cloth I just start taking off my makeup no product on the cloth or nothing it's just hot water This is the kale and green tea spinach vitamins and the brand is youth to the people i've gone through multiple of these i really like it it's not drying or anything it doesn't burn my eyes um, and one bottle lasts forever and i love the packaging so just get that in my hands i rub it into my face into my skin and then I'll add water and that makes it um, sudsy. This gets really, um, I guess you can call it creamy or whatever. Um, so you're getting your skin really clean. And then I just go in with water and rinse it off. And then once I have it rinsed off, I just get my washcloth again. I just use the other side that's clean and I just go over my face one more time again no product is on here it's just wet so you can tell if you're getting everything off um, so yeah that's it so that's how I take my makeup off every day. Um, so it's like that first little round with this that gets off like, you know, the top layer of makeup. It doesn't like go deep down into your skin obviously, but it's like gets that first layer of makeup off and you're not using any product. You're not, it's not like you're using double of this or having to have another product in addition to this it's just this one product so i feel like it's very 
I don't know if you want to call it economical or what, but it's just very simple. Um, and you don't need three and four different products just to take your makeup off. Um, I see people, they'll start with a wipe, they'll do a cleansing balm, and then they'll go in with an oil, and then they'll go in with a cleanser, and it's like, I mean, I get that like, if you don't, if you like doing that, it's kind of like a ritual or whatever, but it's not necessary either. If you like doing it, that's fine, but don't feel like you need to do that to take your makeup off because it's just not necessary. Um, and of course, the more heavier makeup you wear, the more cleansing you might have to do, but still, I think just taking that first layer of makeup off with just your rag um, is like a really good start. So, and now I'm gonna go in with um, this Honeymoon Glow. It is a night serum. It's got um, AHA in it, so it's good for resurfacing your skin. I'm almost out. I love this product. Um, can't decide if I'm going to repurchase this one or try something else. Um, I really like this one though. Okay, and a nighttime moisturizer that I've been using just a little sample of and I have been enjoying it is this one from Biosance. Um, I really have been enjoying it. It's called the Omega Repair Cream. First thing I've ever tried from this brand. <laughs> and so now I'm like, I've been looking at their stuff and I'm like, I might need to try other stuff. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with a Q-tip and get this out. I kind of hate putting my finger in things like this. Um, so I use a Q-tip to get stuff out. This is like such a good nighttime moisturizer. I feel like it's just the right thickness. Um, it's very moisturizing. So it does kind of stink. Um, people are funny about smells. They'll say something smells so bad that they can't use it. Um, <laughs> I'm like, well, once you get it on your face, you can't smell it, but okay. So it does have this slight, terrible scent, but it's just real faint. Um, but I'm enjoying this uh, product for sure. It's really nice for a nighttime moisturizer. Okay. And I should have done this first, but I'm gonna put some eye cream on. This is my second Thing of this eye cream. It's from Algenist. Won't focus. Um, it's a triple algae eye renewal balm. I'm just going to use the other side of the Q-tip to get that out too. But I have been enjoying this for a while. And that is my nighttime skincare routine. Very, I feel like it's just super simple. Um, and again, with the whole face washing thing, I just, that's kind of like a pet peeve, I see. Like making it. Which I get sometimes you want to like do something different, just have like a paper night or whatever. But just for a daily, like it can be very simple and your skin can still get very clean. Um, and I love this the cleanser because it doesn't make my skin feel tight and dry or anything like that. It's just, it's awesome. I love that. So that is my nighttime skincare routine. And I've just been in here um, doing some cleaning and I'm going to wash my makeup brushes today for the first time in forever. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. Um, the product I really like to use is this right here. I get it at Sephora. Um, 
and it comes in this it's a large size um, they have them in smaller sizes just to wash like your beauty sponges with and I've had those in the past and I love those too the smaller ones um, but this is the exact same product it is just larger okay I was out of it for a long time and I was just using a regular like bar of ivory soap to wash my sponge every day um, but I was like I really miss this right here so I got that and um, right there it is it lasts a good while um, so I'm going to start cleaning my brushes um, the ones I use every day so it's not really that many <laughs> because I usually just use my face brushes. I haven't been wearing eyeshadows very much. Um, I probably will wash that one later. Um, I don't think I'm, I'll wash this one here. Um, and that's it. So not too bad anymore since I hadn't been wearing eyeshadow lately. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to quickly do this um, so it's done for the first time in forever. So try and wash your brushes. You can just use a regular bar of soap if you would prefer. Um, but I do love this product. done um super easy just super quick and easy um and i forgot to mention this little thing i got this years ago from i think ulta with a brush set that i got from royal techniques um it's a brush brand that you can get at ulta so you definitely need something like this to rub your brushes on that makes all the difference i think too um it's just to have something to really rub them on to get everything out um so love love this so pick something like that up if you don't have anything like that. Um, and there's one brush cleaner that I see everybody talking about that I have tried. It's from Cinema Secrets. And it's just a liquid and you literally, all you do is just stick your brush in the liquid and just like rub it on a towel and it's clean. But holy cow, that smells like pure alcohol. So I guess that's probably what it is, um, the ingredients. It's just a lot of alcohol, which I, that cannot be good for your brushes um, or your face. Because then you're putting it on your face and stuff. But anyways, um, I'm not saying like this is like the most natural thing ever to clean your brushes with because I know it's not. But like that is just a no-go for me. I've seen because that's just one I see people using a lot. And I was, when I tried it, I was like, wow. Okay, this is um, intense. So now I'm just kind of sanitizing my sink. I did this before I washed my brushes too, um, but now I'm using this again. Um, it's the anti-back, I love it. And if you didn't know, when you're using antibacterial sprays, you need to look on the back of the bottle and see how long you need to let it sit for before it actually works. So this one here is 10 minutes. So if you don't let that sit for 10 minutes, it's technically not um, killing the germs or whatever. Um, each brand is different. Like if you're using Lysol, it's like 30 seconds or something like that. Um, but I just thought that was interesting. I saw somebody mention that not long ago and I was like, oh, okay. That's never even looked at the back of it. So like when you're washing or when you're wiping off your toilets and stuff like that, which I just did, let it sit for as long as it's supposed to. So it actually kills all the germs um but yeah so i'm just gonna let that chill and i think we're about to watch a movie or something just pick something out to watch um and just 